In an instant, a cook working in a restaurant kitchen in Houston seemingly disappears when a can of cooking spray explodes. His attorney called it a ball of fire. It almost looked like he disappeared um, <laughs> after it. He, he, did, uh, he was able to stop, drop, and roll. That cook was left with burns on his arms and is now a plaintiff in one of 33 different lawsuits that have been filed against ConAgra, the maker of Pam cooking spray. Eticia Taylor says she was using a can of Pam when it exploded and her friend called 911. I was cooking and the, uh, something exploded. As I rose up and closed the oven, there was like a red fog that covered my eyes and I was screaming like I'm, I'm dying. The contents of the can. And in Lancaster, an incident this past summer involving Pam cooking spray. The propellant contents ignited and uh, caused the, the burn injuries to the to the patient. That can had four U-shaped vents on the bottom. Cans with the same design are cited in those 33 lawsuits against ConAgra. Those vented cans are 10 ounces or bigger, which ConAgra tells News 8 are often used in commercial food service operations and not found in most consumer households. And while they've never been recalled, ConAgra tells News 8, in early 2019, we discontinued the vented can to standardize our packaging across our entire cooking spray portfolio. Now, all PAM spray cans are unvented and all contain a warning label about leaving the can near a stove or heating source. The propellant inside the can that discharges the product onto the pan is a uh, propane and butane uh, mixture. Again, the PAM cans with the vents on the bottom have not been recalled, but ConAgra just redesigned that packaging earlier this year. So it might be worth checking your kitchen cabinets to see if you still have an older can with those vents on the bottom.